Hi. Hello. It me. It it's Morky. Whoa. A six month streak and sub for eight months. That's awesome. I haven't been streaming all week. <laughs> Unless you want to count me joining Cyndaquil and Dunsparce streams as streaming, then I haven't been streaming all week. It's been a weird week. I'm sorry. I was looking forward to playing Nier. Let's, uh, let's get to Pokemon. I'm a little bit slow today. I'm a, little, I'm a little bit tired. I'm ready for weekend. Anyways, last time we learned some secrets and things. And uh, our good boy here and hid behind here and sneak listened to us, which was not good. And now he knows things that he's not supposed to know, so... Yeah! That's great! I'm kind of nervous about Kieran finding out about the things. Like, I don't want to know his reactions, basically. He doesn't need to know! These are the Paradise Barrens. Pretty lonely place, huh? According to the old legends, the ogre used to be seen around here lots. Hey! Before we check the sign, could you battle me? Let's do it. Why not? I don't really need healing, but thanks, Kieran. <laughs> okay, he didn't send out the, the, the Sriracha sauce. Good. But I also didn't send out... Uh, I didn't I didn't send out the good boy. I mean, Lucario is a very good boy, but not for this. Let me just switch into Arcanine real quick. He didn't send out the Sriracha sauce. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what the 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 the, the tea can Pokemon is called. And that's the one that scares me. I know he has it. I'm sorry, Kieran, but you're not gonna win. I have a shiny Arcanine. Fuck you. <laughs> you're gonna beat him with the power of flowers and hot dogs? <laughs> I'm gonna go Leaf Storm. That does so much! Oh, it's it's stronger than me even. Okay. Yeah, Kyrian. You 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 rip butt. If you see a shadowy figure approaching you outside the village at twilight, be wary. Don a mask at once and hide your face. Do so and whether the shadow is man or monster, you will pass each other by as fellow mask wearers. If you should meet the shadow when you have no mask in hand, then pray that it is only a man. If it is, you will live to see another day. And you will remember to never forget your mask again. But if it is the ogre, you will meet your end, as do all humans whose faces are seen by it. Once it sees your face, your soul will be forfeit, and you shall never return to the village. I mean, I don't think any of that stuff about the ogre stealing souls is true or anything, but... It is true that our family used to make masks. Our family has a long line of mask makers. Even my grabs can make them. I even heard that the reason we hold the festival of masks is because our ancestors came up with the idea. But I don't really like what they wrote on this sign here. Just because the ogre seemed sort of scary, everyone got all afraid of it and drove it away from the village. I'm pretty sure the ogres must have been lonely on its own. Left alone like that. Treated like some kind of outcast. You think so too? Huh, Murkin. Uh oh. Wanna take that last photo? Yay! We did it! <laughs> well, we're all done with our assignment now. But I've gotta get stronger with my Pokemon. I'm gonna head home. I'm a little bit nervous.
Why did you walk like that? <laughs> That's how he walked. Carmen wanted me to tell you that she's waiting at her place. She said you'd better get a move on and don't keep me waiting. Morkin, you took your sweet time. We wanted to talk to you before Kiki wakes up. I wanted to fix their ogre pond's mask, but I'll need one more material if I want to do a proper job of it. Yeah. According to Grandpa, we need to get a crystal cluster from the bottom of the crystal pool. I mean, we could just return the mask as it is, but I think it would make Ogre Pond real happy if we fixed it up first. Good morning, here. <laughs> Kiki, you'd better go kill time somewhere. Yeah, yeah, do whatever you want, sis. E excuse me? I don't need that kind of attitude from you. I got stuff to do, okay? I don't like that. That's not Kieran. What's his problem? He's been all bent out on, out of shape since yesterday. I don't know, he spent the evening in his room without so much as a bite of dinner. There you are, Morkin. Come on, get a lot of this view. Reminds me of... Um... Uh, Area Zero. This is the crystal pool. Bet you didn't expect it to be so pretty, huh? The crystals here are always shining. Isn't that strange? There's even a weird rumor that you can meet people here who's passed away. Well, yeah. I can't... She can't swim?! What?! And besides, my clothes would... What about my clothes?! What in the... An earthquake?! This cannot be good. Oh. I hope I can capture it. Uh... I cannot capture it. Okay, well that sucks. The energy coming from those crystals at the bottom of the pool. I knew it! Miss Briar! Hi there, Carmen, and Morkin too! Uh, why are you here, Briar? I thought you were paired with other students. Did you decide to switch things up? Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Briar, but this place is actually a pretty special. I'm not a big fan of outsiders just wandering around up here. I'm aware that this is sacred grounds, yes. I did get permission from the caretaker, though. Was that not sufficient? Why did you come here? Oh, just doing a bit of field research. I was interested in the properties of the water here. And, well, my hunch was on the money. You see, the crystal pool's waters emit energy of the same wavelength as terrestrial energy. Though, I have no idea why that is. Hey, Grandpa, we got a crystal cluster you needed. Morgan, Carmen, I'm so sorry. Huh? Did something happen? Kieran, he... He ran off with the mask? What? Why would Kiki do that? Did you tell him about the ogre or something? I would never. Right, I'm sorry. I know you wouldn't just go blabbing to him like that. Kiki, what in the world do you think you're doing? You two knew, didn't you? You knew that the ogre wasn't the real bad guy in the stories. The loyal three were the real bad guys. But the ogre's the one that gets treated like an outcast. You... knew? And you two did the same thing to me. You treated me like an outcast when you went and met with the ogre. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... You're no different than those villagers back then. You know how much I love the ogre. You acted like you didn't know anything, but you were laughing at me behind my back all along. That's not what happened at all. Liar! You're a liar! Oh, shit. He been doing some training. Why? Why can't I be as good as you? I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. Say hi to the ogre for me. Hey, listen, Kiki, I should apologize for... I'm going home. I do not like this.
this is not good. What's going on? Oh shit. So that's what happened. The monkey looks like a Simpsons character. <laughs> the monkey reminds me of Homer Simpson. I don't know why, it just does. Hey, you're right! There were three of them, and they looked all sinister. They didn't look that sinister to me, but okay. That's gonna be them! Ah, if it isn't Morkin. If only you'd been here a few minutes earlier. Hey, did those lousy three Pokemon come here? I believe you mean the loyal three, Carmen. Forget about that silly title. Always with your attitude. Caretaker, you're wrong. But yes, you did miss out on an incredible treat. The loyal three were just visiting our humble little hall. It seemed they wished to collect the shining masks we've kept safe here at Kitakami Hall. <laughs> Ogre part. Okay. Well, if we catch the ogre, it looks like it may have a name already. <laughs> I won't, I, I won't name it exactly that, for reasons, but yeah. Okay, Homer Simpson, it's time to battle you. Can I catch you? Okay. I cannot catch them, okay. Um, they were trying to go three against the one on you, huh? I guess it's a fair fight's too much to expect. But now that we're here, we'll make you regret ever coming back to life. It's really you. The real life ogre. Wowzers. You're really something. You wanted to be the one to give the mask back to Ogre Pond, right, Kiki? This is for you, dear ogre. It seems scared. Maybe it's not good with new people, Kiki. I don't think it'll take the mask if I'm the one giving it back. You should be the one to do it, Mudkin. It's always the main character. It'd be nice if you could give the other three masks back to Ogre Pond, don't you think? Did those... Did those three Pokemon take the masks that were in Kitakami Hall? I bet it doesn't want to go into the village. The villagers did a pretty good job of chasing it away back then, so... Yeah, you're right. Okay, well... Maybe Ogre Pond can wait for us here. We can go gather information while it waits. But do you think it'll be okay? Ah, it's the cocky looking one. That huge head must mean it's Monkey Dory. Hey, I may be wrong about this, but... Has it gotten bigger than when we last saw it? It has indeed. Time for us to put this one in its place, Murkin. Are we doing it together? Hell yeah! Power of friendship. That's what you get. Hey look, it dropped a mask. We did it! We got the first mask back. Hell yeah. Oh, here's the buff one. Okie dokie with all of its mean muscles. This one's gotten bigger too, huh? Just a big bear. I wanna hug it. Come on, Morkin, it's time to cut this Pokemon down to size. <laughs> What's up with the Paralyze? Why are we this lucky? I probably should not have jinxed myself like this, but I'm still surprised. Why are we this lucky? Oh my god! I am untouched so far. 
Hey look, it dropped a mask too. Just like the last Pokemon. Hell yeah. One more mask. One more mask. Well, one more mask remaining. Let's make this loyal one a loyal nun. Oh. Carmen is speaking my language. There's the one that flies. Fesandipidipidit. <laughs> How's it they all gotten bigger like this though? Give me a break. Here we go. I was waiting for this. Okay. I think we got it. It has like one HP. What the fuck? Now we got it for real. We like the ogre and its masks. We help bring out each other's full power. And there it is. We got the last mask. Congratulations, Ogre Pond, and good work, Morkin. We've got all the masks. Thank goodness, it all worked out, right, Ogre Pond? Morkin, sis! Huh? Kiki, what's up? Well, uh, I, I wanted to ask a favor. I wanted you to come to the village and bring the ogre with you. Are you sure it's safe? You gotta trust me, it'll be okay, I promise. But that's all I wanted to ask, just come. I wonder what's gotten into him. Everyone in the village thinks that Ogre Pond's a menace, right? I hope he knows what he's doing. But he did have a confident look in his eyes. Let's trust Kiki and head to the village. Eesh, you really don't want to be here, do you? But don't worry, it'll be fine. Kiki, what's this all about, really? I, I know you must be scared, Ogre Pond. But I did my best. So, just trust me and come with me, okay? I don't like this. So, this is the Ogre of Oni Mountain. This is the true face of Ogre Pond, whom we've so sorely wronged for far too long. We have told tales casting you as the villain here in Kitakami. Hey, you know what? Oh! oh. Kieran! Oh my fucking god. Time to punch Kieran. I like how this playthrough of the DLC has been like... Carmen sucks. Carmen is rude. I hate her to like... Kieran sucks. I hate him. <laughs> don't, don't make me bring out my actual team. Because I will do that. Also, this music though, holy shit. Focus Sash? Fuck your Focus Sash. You're tired of losing? Well, I'm tired of your shit. <laughs> Alright. It's time to do this. Yo! That's rad. So I can't just catch it right away, it's like a raid battle. Okay. And now it's fire type, I believe. Ogre Pond wants to see if you can punch it in the face before it will let you catch it. Well, that's how Pokemon is. A 
I feel like this is gonna be hard. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's so much damage. I can also terrestrialize. Let me terrestrialize my bird. Sending out the Beatles drummer bird. Yeah, for the second part of the DLC, I'm gonna have a new team, and I'm thinking maybe I will put um, maybe I will put uh, this one on the team, perhaps. Hey, uh, well done, Motkin. That was pretty impressive. Congratulations. Hey, Motkin. Good morning. I'm gonna message from Carmen. She says she's waiting for you at the Loyalty Plaza and that you should hurry up and meet her there. Say, why do you two always use me as your messenger boy, huh? Why... shouldn't we? <laughs> I guess the Mask Retrieval Squad has completed its mission. Though Kiki, well, he's shut himself in his room ever since he got home yesterday. It won't come out? Yeah. Oh! But you don't need to feel guilty or anything, Morgan. It all started because I said we should keep the whole Ogre Pond thing a secret. And you wouldn't think it, but Kiki's got a bit of an ego too. It doesn't take losing one. <laughs> Anyways, how's Ogre Pond doing? I'll be honest, I've grown real fond of Ogre Pond myself. Guess Kiki's rubbed off on me a bit. Do you think... Yes. Of course you can. I was looking at your Lucario, name confused. Then I remembered I named him Furry Bait backwards. <laughs> yes you did, yes you did. I'm not gonna terrestrialize yet. I thought you- oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> actually, uh, I actually, uh, sheesh. This is awkward to tell you, but I, uh... Hey there, Morkin, this is Briar. It seems all student pairs have completed their orienteering as of this morning. The caretaker wanted to have some words, so could you head back to the community center? Message received loud and clear. Ah, Carmen is with you. Wonderful. That's one less phone call I have to make. You kids never cease to amaze me. It seems you become fast friends the moment you spend even the briefest amount of time together. Well... Head on over to the community center. I'll be there with the rest of the students. Ah, Morikin. Everybody's here. Well, most of us are here anyway. Now then, the caretaker has some words for us. Let's all give him our full attention. Saving every five seconds is what you do when you play Elder Scrolls. Ah yes, thank you for coming. I've been told that our student peers have now finished visiting all the signboards in Ketakami. Which means your self-guided tour is at an end. Hear that? We did it! We found them all! That was so much fun! Why, thank you for saying so, and... Thanks for taking part. On that note, I've got a little gift for each of you. Oh! Truth be told, I don't think you'd wrap up the tour this quickly. You're quite the prodigies. Our visitors from Paldea still have heaps of time left to enjoy Kitakami and all it has to offer. Continue to make yourselves at home and explore as you please. However, I'm sorry for suddenly springing this on you, but Carmen, Kieran, and I will need to return to Blueberry Academy a little early. Mm hmm. Unfortunately, my brother's not feeling well, so it's just me here to speak. Anyways, as you all know, this village is where I was born. And I'll be honest, I didn't want any outsiders coming here at all. Yikes. <laughs> that is indeed the words. It felt like our home was being turned into a tourist trap for a bunch of ignorant strangers. Carmen is speaking 
my language yet again. I mean, it's not like this is goodbye forever. Blueberry Academy has tons of strong trainers. You'd better come visit soon. Oh, I almost forgot. I still need to get packed and everything. This is not goodbye, okay? We're definitely gonna see each other again. Carmen, don't go! I'm not happy about this. <laughs> I need to become... Uh-oh. I need to become a lot stronger. Stronger. Stronger, stronger, and stronger, and stronger! Y you're going crazy. You need help. Just you wait, Morken. Oh! 